Okay. Yeah, I can see there. Yes, we see. Ah, Kentucky. There we go. Can y'all see Drew? Dr. Drew, health instructions? Yes. Okay, praise Allah. Yes. All right, so Prophet Noble Drew Ali, as you everybody see here, and came in like 1913, 1912, 1913. Uh, more, maybe 19, 1913, let's just say 1912, 1913. So when he first came in, like I explained last week, you know, he came with the Dr. Drew's health instructions because he was trying to, you know, break through the the madness in our own minds. And that first starts with that body too. And he was bringing our vibe up and cleaning us and all that. So, you know, you know, also showing us that he has the right to the degrees of doctor, professor, and you know, all these particular things. Now, he was a professor and a doctor in healthcare. You know, he graduated from the highest Egyptian schools at that time in that, and with a degree of property. All right, very, very high degree. Bring me on. This one, you know, Professor Drew, the Egyptian Adam student. Professor Drew is a man who was born with divine power. He was taught uh, by the adepts of Egypt. It says, I have the secret of destroying the germs of tuberculosis and cancer of the lungs in 10 to 30 days. Your lungs can something use a very strict examination that the germs may be entirely destroyed. Also, uh, hold that up, people. Also something. So, something the germs of eating cancer, rheumatism, lumbar, heart trouble, female diseases, and serious effects of the body. Call it once and something and bring something children and children and be relieved of your sufferings. If you have any doubt about my treatment, you can be healed before a dollar is paid with surety. He goes on to also tell you that he was teaching the 18 years of Christ's life that is missing in the holy something. But he was teaching the books of Jesus, you know, what we now have in our holy Quran. as soon as he stepped on the scene. Very important. Why? Because he's speaking things. He's putting things in the ether. So this is actually the oil tea compound at one time, you know, with, like, you know, extremely good. You can use this bath for everything. You know, I mean, a lot. Right. Awesome and anyway, so the prophet began to speak a particular sound way and brought forth these particular pictures that had sound waves. As we know, the eye means Allah. So that's what that picture is coming. Okay. And please, uh, me, man. This is Sunday school. All right, so anyway, so the prophet began to speak a particular sound way to hit penetrate the Asiatic's ear so that he can get them to see a particular thing. Right, and what and what sound wave was he actually doing? Well, I want to prove it. That was actually the book. Everything back on 432 hertz, right? And this is a water sound image of 432 hertz. This is a water sound image of 440 hertz. What people are on in the world is on the day. 440. 440 hertz is destructive to the cells, actually. The uh, uh, 432 is a much more healthier um, uh, 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 pattern or signal for the cells and for the body. As you can see, this brings on much more structure of what I was showing you with the DNA, with the individual pieces here. I don't know if you can see my cursor. Hold on, let me get it again. All right, so with these individual pieces you see right here, right, those little lines in there, you guys see that? Hello? Anybody yeah, we see. All right. I see. All right, so these are, it's, it's, it's really important that you understand these are almost like sound keys. All right, that's creating this, this, um, this phrase or this tone. This is a real thing you're seeing on water. All right, and it's so important that you understand that this is how thought moves to this realm. Everyone wants to know, well, how does thought, you know, thought's just, you know, something. No, it's not. It's a real thing that can move and shape this reality and will cause you to shape the reality that you're living in. This is the Moorish Science Temple of America. 
the Moorish has a, a, a pattern that looks something like this. Simple, all put together, will get its own particular phrase and pattern and everything. You're being manipulated by certain patterns and you don't have a clue because you don't know how to build your shield up. You allow everything to come in your shielding and just, just, just open it up like wormholes and, and destruct the little things. And, hey, some of this ain't got no shield. I don't even care. You know. Anyway, this particular pattern here of sound is on water. I told you before, water is a divine substance. It's like technology. It's a living tech. You are a water creature. You are 90% water. So if you're 90% water, 93% whatever, 90. And, but the rest of the 10 of you is just what? You got a little bit of Yeah. Zoom that up a little bit, just like a pen. Okay, yeah. Give me one second. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's that? Beautiful, perfect, perfect. Okay. Oh, that's the 432. The, yeah. the stand that hurts that they changed it to 440 on all the instruments. Exactly. And that's the difference that it looks like now. Mm -hmm. So what we're looking at is the 432 on water. And the reason I show this is because this, and if you understand fractal patterns, this is a, almost a perfect shape. This on 440 is not. Look how it bleeds over here. That's called disharmony right there. Which means you got to come with a, so if it's a G flat, right? I got to balance that thing out with a, I think a G, a, a, a major seven. All right. This got to be balanced out. That's why it doesn't sound very good. Okay. I think it's not a very good. I would not want this as a cell in my body because it doesn't hold. You, it, it's not perfect. It's not holding the energy correct. It's bleeding. It's all you know, absurd. But anyway, it's a lot of science in here, you guys. I don't want to get so far. But so the 442 is very good for the body of water, and you are a water. You are a water creature. You have a body of water. You're a water of life. In other Go to the annotation section and clear it out. Clear out the annotation. Yeah, I did. Thank you. You're right. You're right. You're right. All right. So when you're looking at the circuit seven, you're looking at a sound pattern, so-called circuit seven. These, these right here, quadrants in this particular shape will make this shape one sand if you get the right frequency and sound. You got the shape of prayer rug. This is the original Quran that the prophet put out. The way it looked and the colors and everything were for a reason. All right, so this is in the shape of a prayer rug. This is in the shape of the Holy of Holies when you walk into it back in the day, called a rectangle. This is how people come in to this divine state. Buddha. I think you somehow amused you. I don't know how I did that. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah muted. Oh, wait, hold on. The share, I'm the share face time. You want me to mute you? You need to be muted? Oh, um, oh, my, yeah, my fault. I'm on. You can mute. You can mute yeah, it, Mo. You can mute me. Yeah, you can mute me, Mo. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try to figure that out. Hold on. Uh, all right. Who else? All right. So anyway, praise Allah, Ansh Prophet Let's move on. Very important Quran we got. So these patterns, like I told you before, you know, these are all sound patterns that were. Uh, you know, in sacred geometry, a few sacred geometry patterns, but most of these patterns are sound. And you can find these in your water. 
Now, depending on what they are, it could be the cares of the world water. All right, so anyway, the prophet number two, Ali, again, I kind of explained this last time. So this was the DNA, right? This is looking down on your DNA. All right, this is a very complex shape here. And if you notice the thing I showed you before, this is where you want your DNA kind of be. Very complex, very tight, very uh, functioning, and what they call junk DNA is activated. We don't have junk DNA. What we have is uh, what they're calling dormant due to the fact of the sound frequencies have yet to hit these particular things. So that Islamism. Islam. Thank you. Okay. So, what we, so what we're looking at right now is us moving into this. The seventh. Seventh structure, more or less. And it's off the hood. So anyway, the DNA, if you can see this, it looks like a lotus flower. It looks like sacred geometry. You're looking at the down part. This is the side view of your DNA. This is the top view. If you ever know what a star fort is, this is how we construct the star forts. This is how we construct sound. You know what I'm saying? Love looks like this. Love has the pattern of almost like this. Do you realize that? I'm going to show you. All right. So now these are piano notes, first octaves. If you notice, this one and these three look like that one, that one, and that one. This one, let me blow it up. Can you guys see it better? Long. Long. All right. So these are piano notes, first octaves. So what you're looking at is a star, five-pointed star here, here, and here, and there. You also got the Hebrew star somewhere in one of these. This is on uh, Saturn, at the top of Saturn, all those particular things. But anyway, so what you're looking at is microscopic. It's very small, but these are sounds on water. This is what looks like notes. This is what the note wave that you hear in the air is hitting your ear but this is what's hitting the ear. Does that make sense to you? These are the shapes that make the harmonic signature of your favorite song that makes you feel real, real good. You understand? Now, if I was to take out the F and replace that with an F minor diminished fifth, you wouldn't feel too good about that song anymore because I've changed the pitch. You understand? You guys following me? Following the lead, star right on it. All right. Around here. Uh, okay. That's why people don't like remix. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say, that's why people don't like remix. Right, it's wrong, yeah. though. If you don't have any questions, that was pretty good, good Bob. I like that. Right so, the whole class, if y'all got questions, now would be the time because he, he's dropping some heaviness right now. Always this, but this is a waste. It's wrong, yeah. it's wrong, y'all. It's wrong. All right, so what we want to understand is this, is what the prophets sound and pitch. The Allah is a symphony. Love is the symphony. You got you got to blend in the symphony and then you're able to activate force. Peace. Peace looks like this, y'all. Peace can look like one of these notes. What I'm getting to tell you is, is that there is something like this that's love, truth, peace, freedom, and then you are the justice or are the tuning fork that will bring that behind these particular shapes. These shapes tune your water. Your water is electric too, traveling, electricity flows through it. You're an electromagnetic chemical being, okay? And, and, and when you speak, this is why you can speak on to people and, and people feel a certain way. This is why you can speak to people, people will uh, uh, clap that you love you or fight you. It's because what you're doing is, is that you're casting spells. This is what the whole casting spell. This is what the whole understanding is, but people don't understand today. So I could make this into like the first piece. Let me show you again real quick. Like this one could be F you, or you have no good whoopie pop, or I'm a, uh, you're going you're gonna to fall down next week, all right? If I put F you, you are no good movie pop, and you're going to fall down next week, and then I put your harmonic signature there, I've just kind of cast a little weak 
uh, for a weak man and for a weak mind, it may penetrate. It may penetrate uh, your aura field is because you don't have anything to step back. You're tuned into the F you and the I ain't no good and such and such because you feel you ain't no good. Is this making any sense to y'all? I'm moving really fast. I'm trying to keep up with my own thoughts. Right it's now. like being on the same frequency as the word. Exactly. Almost like the same frequency as the word, but it's it's not, it's a symphony that's being played. Islamism, um, harmonic frequency. Islam, same harmonic frequency. Islam. All right, so these are other patterns on water that are real. This one reminds me of Star Wars down here. This reminds me of those movies they do when they try to be like, oh, you're doing some, casting some devil spell. Or some of this weird stuff, you know how these people do. Ain't no devil but the devil within you. And you know, there is the opera devil, he's been doing some stuff. Anyway, this is a star court, uh, like I showed you guys before, uh, sitting on a star court, but this is Mexico, sitting on a star court, and it's surrounded by the body of water or the water of light. And this is actually uh, a Tesla-like device and, and the fractals were actually uh the fractals are the city structures creating the love signatures in the water and the pumping mechanism in here i'll show you later on is that uh even in the tubes of the pumping of the water it had on the sides the shape of love so when it pumped in a circle when the water was being pumped it was being pumped in a um fibonacci fibonacci how do you say that the, 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 uh, there it is. Right. The spiral or an Archimedic screw to your particular water, keeping the energy along with the signature of the water. Thus, your plants were going big. You were growing bigger. The entire environment was a lot bigger. Okay, because you can trace these fractals to a lot. Now, these are the buildings that were sitting in the center here. Are right here this is probably like the building all right and if you look at it it's a circuit board and it's a harmonic it's a resonator got a resonator here resonator here resonator here 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 and here now these resonating sounds are this entire building is picking out a resonating signature so when you go in it's tuning you up there were certain levels like the oh let me let me blow this up you guys probably can't see that one just talking is that the Star Fort in Mexico City? Yeah, the one I showed earlier was the Star Fort in Mexico City. This is a building that is similar that sat in the middle of it. All right, and it's a technology. All right, the whole thing was technology, and it was functioning your DNA, and it was making you into super people. All right, so what you had here is an actual. This is an actual um, schematic of a uh, circuit board. Okay, so what you have here are the harmonic resonators, and then the big one that sits to, to test the device like on top of it, and then you have magnetic resonators here, and then you have another resonator here, all right, and then they built the aesthetics around it to give it this beautiful look, and here are your antennas able to receive and transmit the worldwide grid energy that was out there. I said this last week, so I'm going to pass now. Here's the Mexico City one that we kind of saw, right? Same kind of one, right? And you can see everything's kind of in the water. It's important that you do it like that. Anyway. All right, so this is what I showed you last week that your skull is a harmonic resonator. All right? And from your, your vocal cords and, you know, the tongue and the way of its pitch is going to cause the scale right, that's going to harmonically resonate your skull, that's going to harmonically resonate the brain like an oscillator, and if done correctly with the words of power, this part where the soul dwells, which you can go find the soul of man, it's in the brain, has a liquid in there, and it's called deep, deep, deep liquid melanin, and then this the pineal gland, that's actually like a tuner, and when you speak those particular words or harmonize, everything tunes up, this thing secretes all of that particular melanin, hits the or hits the glands, hits the other stuff, and you begin to glow, you begin to do all sorts of Superman-like stuff. Pretty dope. This is kind of where we're going back, because words are power, 
and you are the power mechanism that's creating the reality by the words you speak and the words you did implant in your brain right up in here through the memory and those those memory signatures actually have a little power too and then the limbic system which is right here which is the seat of the lower cell is activated by the limbic system so it's so important that you know who you are because the majority of people are reacting from the limbic system instead of the higher system that's above that and, and functioning with, the, with their harmonic resonator to start to shape the actual reality in which they're living in and move on um this is a picture a diagram from a person who's an enlightened person speaking from their heart because that shape is the shape of a good signature this is a person who's in their dual nature oscillating between the lower and the higher all right this person is pretty much showing you that his nervous system or chakras are you know and he's oscillating from the heart chakra speaking and it's penetrating etc that's what that picture is all right so these are the different patterns that you are or the things around you you know sacred geometry etc this is that pattern i showed you earlier that you could be you know all that but anyway these are all sound activated sound is so important and every time you cuss or you let people cuss around you you deactivate certain things that's why i apologize when i curse sometimes because it's really not good all right so anyway uh, uh a more who's on his on his lessons has this and the, do you guys see the field this field is a field of love, truth, peace, freedom, right? But this field has little fractals in it. And it's the fractals that the more fractals, the tighter it nets, and the harder it is to penetrate with the hate and let all the diseases in and all that stuff. You know, people can go forever without having a cold. It's because their aura field is very tight and it, it does have a shape. It is by what you think, right? These human looking one here all right um most people are kind of here you know out there most people are here you know just going along and get along these are the people who's taking the time who's pretty pretty enlightened right? i mean we're talking uh ascended master type of thing chakras are lined up creating the vortex the ever living vortex that you can move in and out of certain realities like jesus did then you get to this particular one, which I showed you earlier, is this. Paper that. Yeah, exactly. The shape of that was this, right here. So this, this. That one. It. That's that one. Or. More. But anyway, or this one right here. I was that the one talking about activating uh the individual's Merkaba session. Yep. Yep. And it's sound and it's a way of doing it, and it starts with the cleansing of the body. And um that way you can get out all of the parasites and the things that attach to eat up the particular energy or claw the energy, the energy uh flows, you know, energy flows in your body because you're electromagnetic energy being, you know, and the body's really what that is, and your melanin. So you gotta really understand that you're more energy and water than you are anything. Right? And so when you understand the tech that the body that you're in, you can then get yourself to here and you can move it any out of multi multi realities just like Dr. Manhattan. Like he's over here seeing a reality that happened 20 years ago. He's over here seeing a reality that's happening now. This is the future. This was the past. He can see. can do the exact same thing. It's not that. It's not that difficult when you understand yourself. Now, this is a, a DNA that was taken by an electronic scope and looking down on it. And it's a healthy DNA. And it looks similar to these functionings and stuff like this. All right. So I'm going to go through these a little quick. I need mean, now. This is where I want to be. So it's so important that you understand the science. And Dr. 
Masaru Emoto, this genius, proved what I'm speaking of. Everybody's probably familiar with him by now, but he's the one who proved that you can put thought on water and, all, and, and water is a tech. But he goes on to say, as unbelievable as it may seem, Japanese science and Dr. Uh, Emoto shows the effects of our thoughts and emotions on water and has come to some startling conclusions. Now, you know, you can go get this book, go online and, and read all of that. But I want to read uh, this. Through a high-speed photography, Dr. Emoto shows the direct consequences of destructive thoughts on, alternatively, the, uh, the thoughts of love and appreciation. Dr. Emoto has been studying water as a medium to transcribe Hadu, translated as wave and sound. Okay. Dr. Imatu has theorized that since water has the ability to receive a wider range of frequencies than human beings, it may reflect the universe. Well, this is true, but due to the fact that you are made up mostly of water, you got to then put that um, in there also. He also says that uh, specific concentrated thoughts are directed towards them. He has discovered that water from clear springs and water that has been exposed to loving words show brilliant, complex and colorful snowflake-like patterns, while water from polluted water or water exposed to negative thoughts forms incomplete asymmetrical patterns with dull colors. You wonder why a lot of these people are dumb and dull and, and, and dumbed down? It's because the majority of their water of life is polluting. There is no love there. There is no fractals of love in your water of life. I mean, you, you know, and this is why people can't get along because are they always arguing because their fractals is a signature. Their water has a signature of argue. Understand? There are certain people that love to argue or you can just never be wrong. They know everything. You know, the person that you're trying to communicate and the first thing they tell you, oh, I know. Okay, it's not the topic. Do you know? I thought this. Does that stop the, the, the communication? Because you said you know. Do we stop everything now? What is it that you know? Have you ever met the person that you haven't got the whole full thought out and they already told you they know? You know what that is? Their water's polluted. With the real thing is they really don't know and they're lazy and they don't want you to tell them because that makes them responsible to have to go do a damn thing. So anyway, moving on. He goes on to say, Dr. Moto's main objective was passionate to the healing of water, mankind and of the earth. So he goes on to say that um, He even says, by ex uh, expressing love to water, one can create small, beautiful universes. Our consciousness, eyes, and mind, when full of good, will breathe new life onto, into water and help us heal by using the most simple resources, water. Yes. Anyway, that's your body. Just remember, you are 90% water. All right, so I'm gonna move on from, oh yeah, well, that's a good one, hold on. All right, look at these. All right, so mm, going to in xenophobia. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's not a very good one for me. Why well, that one in there? But let's move to this one, this one's pretty good. All right, so this is what peace looks like when you speak it on your water every morning. Islam, in other words. So when you get up what? in the morning, yeah. Where did you get this? Mo, I got more stuff than you think. Come on now, you dealing with, you know who you dealing with. <laughs> you, you, right. You're moving on a supersonic level right now real quick. Can you just pause for a second, please? It's fine. I told everybody he was going to get beat and heavy. I forewarned everybody, yo, ask questions. Yo, yo I, I wanted to say, one of the things you just described about how when you move, 
in that perfect succession of whether you know whatever whatever the frequency may be it seems like like to me there's like a perfect harmony of of i don't know life or there's like a perfect harmony going through and if you can line like you've been talking about if you can line up your body your mind your spirit and you can line up with that perfect harmony you can accomplish so much and and exactly. map that so much quicker and then the part where you just talked about or just read where you just read about how when you're when you're in that perfect harmony you can create your own universe and i've experienced that where it's like let's say it's you and somebody else and you're in the house and you're in harmony you're getting along you're communicating and you're building and you're solving things in your mind it's like you're yeah. in a, to me it's like you're in a wormhole within that little environment whether you're in the house an apartment in the car and you're like time travel it's just i i it it, it really hey man i've tried it yeah, i've it really done it in where i didn't mean not to cut you off that's right now i did something and it blew my mind i was upset that day and i was in the car and i don't i don't I didn't want to speak but my thoughts were negative as hell i'm talking man my thoughts were like negative all right i was upset and do you know i put i, I transferred those negative thought images onto the person and we almost crashed as i lost my witness you are a powerful being. We it's and weird we as hell. This is what I'm trying to tell you. You don't know how powerful you really are. Okay, you know, people... Anyway, look at him. Let's look at him for a moment. Look how beautiful him is. Look at evil. The thought of negative. The word, I hate you. The negativeness is that. Isn't that crazy? So eternal's freedom. This is freedom. This is what freedom, when you say love, truth, peace, freedom, freedom takes on this shape. Eternal means freedom. Okay? Love and gratitude takes on this shape. So when you're telling your woman, I love you, you know, and then you don't mean it, you know, say, check this out, man. Let me give you a little clue. So you, you got a woman. And you tell her I love you. You're sending this. Hold on. I'll be, I'm gonna come back to that real quick. You're sending this right here. This is what you're telling her. You see this, everybody? Can you guys? Are you guys still with? Yeah, we see it. We see it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, because I can't see if you guys are still there or not. It's a six-pointed right. hexagon. All right, so what you're looking at is love in its thought. That is a thought of love. This is what the thought of love looks like. So when you're sending this, or you tell your woman or your child or your mother, say your mother, so it's a little bit more uh, a quicker example. When your mother says she loves you, and the reason you know is because this signature is in you. You have a grip of these vibrational signatures from her that resonates that yes, she does love me. And then when she says, boy, woo, woo, it's the it's the antithesis or the opposite of this signature that makes you feel a, a certain type of way in your water of life. 